Marhaban Bekum. Now, um, only a few um, pages left. So, page uh, 64, 65, 66. I thought just to give you, uh, to conclude um, the list of verbs that uh, we have uh, come across during the course of studying this book, The Key to Arabic, Book 2. Um, these are the uh, verbs in their past tense and present tense. So you can have record of that. If When you are learning the verb, it's very useful to learn it past tense, present tense together. It's because the pattern is very important. So, um, he entered, that's dakhala, and went into, and this is your present tense. Uh, dakhala, he entered or went into something. So, yadkhulu, that's mean to, to uh, he enters, that's present tense. Or he is entering as uh, continuous. Now we have, he left, kharaja. Yakhruju is your present tense. Kharaja, yakhruju. Um, he went out, he is going out. Yakhruju, that's your present tense. He wrote, Rakiba. Rakiba, Yerikabu. He's riding or he rides. Uh, Rakiba, Yerikabu. The, what, what is important to notice is, is if you look at the second root, in the present tense, sometimes it comes as a domma in some verb, and in some verb it comes as a fatha, yerika, as your second root. Even though it's he here in the in the present tense, that's why it's vital to learn the past tense and present tense together so you know. And once that has been established, the first two letters will not change. Yeah? So dakhala yedhulu kharaja yakhruju. Rokiba, Yerikabu, Fataha, Yeftahu, that's he opened. So past tense, present tense. La Iba, Yele Abu, he played. Yerijiu, Rojaa, Yerijiu, he returned as past tense. Rasala, Yerosilu, he washed. Jalasa, Yejlisu, and that is he sat, we sits for present tense, ya khudu, akhada, ya khudu. He took or he takes in present tense. So please learn it together. Dakhala, yedkhulu. Kharaja, yakhruju. Rakiba, yerkabu. Fataha, yaftahu. Laiba, yalabu. Raja'a, yerji'u. Ghasala, yagsilu. Jalasa, yajlisu. Akhada, ya khudu. You will see, if you compare the past tense, the past and the first root letter, meaning original letter, in the present tense, it becomes sukun. All of them, all the first root here, in the present tense, they are carrying sukun. Yet, yach, yer, yef, yel, yer, yer, yej, ye. The first letters are the present tense letter that we spoke about before. He has ya, ya, all of them because we are just using he form rather than you. When it's a you in present tense, we add ta. If it is I, you know we add a, alif plus hamza, a. So the last letter, again in the present tense, is carrying dhamma, all of them. That's in your default. So the only thing really which you cannot predict is the second root. In this case, dakhala here is u. Kharaja is also u here, yakhruju. But ro ki is kesra here, ro kiba is a here, yerkabu. Fata, it remains yeftahu. La iba, yel a. Roja, yerji. Ghasala, yagsilu. Jalasa, yajli. Su, akhada, yakhudu. So it is vital that you learn. This. You cannot predict what the second root vowels is going to be in the present tense. So please uh, note that. Yeah, a couple of more 
um, verbs for you here. We have um, akala, he ate, yakulu, he eats, shariba, he drank, yeshrabu, he drinks. Let's follow the pattern, that's fine. Then additional vocab for you. Akudu, I take. Akulu, I eat. Hobzun, bread. Jubnatun, cheese. Halibun, milk. Mubasharatan, immediately. Foslun, class. Futurun, breakfast. Gadaun, lunch. Asha'un, dinner. Bakiran, early. Fakat, only. Right. Final vocabulary. Useful one, actually. They are very useful. Uh, adverbs are always very useful. Adatan, uh, usually, normally. Adatan. Daiman. Always. Daiman. Always. Ahyanan. Sometimes. Ahyanan. Sometimes. Nadiram ma. Rarely. Seldom. Rarely. Seldom. Nadiran ma. Kathiran ma. Often or frequently. La and then something something. Abadan. لا أشرب مثلا لا أشرب الشاي أبدا I don't drink tea ever or never drink tea لا something something and then أبدا so that means never or ever so they're useful عادة دائما أحيانا نادرا ما كثيرا ما لا something something and then أبدا here we are Day of the week. Days of the week. Yawmun. We know that it means a day simply. If you say al yawm mean today. Yawmul ahad. Sunday. Because the counting of days starts from Sunday. It's like a one. Wahad. Yawmul ahad. By the way, this is also idhofa construction. Meaning the possessive. That we spoke about before. Yawmu, day of the first day of the week. So, Yawm, day of something. Yawmul Ahad, Sunday. Yawmul Ithnain, that's Monday, that's mean the second day or, or the second of the weekdays. Yawmu Thulatha, Tuesday, has come from Thalatha, meaning three. يوم الأربعاء coming from four أربعاء as fourth day Wednesday يوم الخميس coming from خمسة يوم الخميس as mean the fifth day Thursday يوم الجمعة and that is gathering day جمعة يوم الجمعة Friday and then يوم السبت Sabbath, that the Saturday. Utlatu nihayatil usbu. That means the weekend. Utlat means holiday. Nihayat means ending, the end of the of the week. Al usbu. So yomul ahad, yomul ifnain, yomul thulatha, yomul arbi'a, yomul khamis. يوم الجمعة يوم السبت One more time يوم الأحد يوم الاثنين يوم الثلاثاء يوم الأربعاء يوم الخميس يوم الجمعة يوم السبت Then we have عطلة نهاية الأسبوع The weekend I mean holiday of the uh, end of the week and this will conclude the analysis of the key to Arabic book 2 I hope you enjoy it more importantly I hope that you will have enough time to go over it 
and do your exercises, your homework. And if you have any question, you may write to me directly uh, to my direct email, which is uh, a A G that's a Alpha Alpha Golf Imran I M R A N Imran at the con that's it, it stands for direct connection D I R C O N dot co dot U K and you find the PDF of the uh, solution to the answers to all the uh, exercises in this particular book, The Key to Arabic Book 2, you find it on our website www.gatewaytoarabic.com. Well done, you've been very patient with me. I hope you like the course, I hope it's very beneficial to you, and I pray that uh, we shall meet again when I in, I intend, inshallah, to teach a little bit more from the, my series, Gateway to Arabic. And there may be other courses as well. Well done. Ma'alfu salama. Fi amanillah. Ila liqa.